But here it is. We wanted to save this one as a surprise. We have, drum roll Mitchell, the god of all Hashira. We have Shinobu. Yeah. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Mark is here, and welcome to Anime Avenue, the channel where I collect absolutely everything anime. And Naruto is my ninja way, but now with that out the way, I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Naruto Rasen Shuriken camera flip. Oh, It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep pack because your boy is here and today we are in Hollywood and by we I mean me and also my main man yeah. Mitchell here. <laughs> we are in Funko Hollywood We are gonna be going into the main center part of Funko which believe it or not the core the heart the center of Funko shop is actually anime Yeah, which is weird <laughs> I mean if you think about it though anime Funko pops are like if they drop something on the Funko shop If it's something else, it'll stick around maybe 10 15 20 minutes anime though Gone. Like Minato himself, like lightning, it is gone. So I think that anime being at the center only makes sense and it kind of makes people have to walk through everything else to see the anime stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be going into the heart of the Funko shop and checking out all the awesome anime pops that they have in there. Right now we are on, in the car. I mean, it is super, super crowded here. So it is, it's, there's movement literally everywhere. I don't want to get in the way of anybody. So we're filming in here. But once we hop in there, we're going to be filming inside the shop. And if we're a little quieter than normal is because there's literally people everywhere but I think it's and there's music and all this stuff going on but I think it should be fine we're gonna go in there pick up some new anime pops to add to the collection including the new Naruto Ross and Shuriken pop on screen you guys know we're on this never-ending quest to try to get all the Naruto pops and the easiest way to do that is at least to get the ones coming out you know <laughs> yeah and literally as we're doing this like a new one just comes out yeah <laughs> and also the boo thing maybe in stock Chanel boo right here is also on a pop form I don't know if she's gonna be in stock but we're hoping we can pick up a Shinobu pop as well too because that just came out out recently as well but without any further ado let's hop out of the car and let's head into the Funko shop okay so there it is we have the Funko Hollywood shop let's go ahead and head on in and check out the anime stuff we're gonna need this <laughs> absolutely okay so we are in here right now the first place we're gonna go is they actually have a table for new releases so the new release table will have anything brand new they just dropped in the Funko shop we want to go there first and then we're gonna hunt in the actual core where all the anime stuff is let's go okay so we have made it let's check it out already got what we were looking for for here the Naruto with the new Ross and Sherry kid glow in the dark and also we got the Himiko right here as well too really cool Chilling. eating this, like some sushi usually they're always eating ramen very very cool one though we may end up getting this one but I want to go hunt in the actual main anime section do you see anything else anime related oh dude this is not anime <laughs> that's so anime <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure Star Wars is a big enough property. They probably do have an anime. But we have the Darth Vader Diamond exclusive. Just some other ones, itchy and scratchy. It looks like it's mostly the Simpsons stuff. It's like, I guess, you know, Halloween's coming oh, up. Yeah, look at this one, the Nightmare Willy as a spider. <laughs> <laughs> but no anime around here. Let's go ahead and take a look on the outer section, find what anime stuff we can, and then we'll go into the core itself. Ooh, and right here we have Yelena right here from Attack on Titan. One of the most iconic meme faces in anime, in my opinion. <laughs> we are trying to get as many of the Attack on Titan pops we can. I mean, they're absolutely absolutely insane the original one so I don't want to be behind even further by getting the new ones you know hitting yeah. Mitchell with the glare on the box here it's a little bright <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna pick up this one for sure and we are here into the mecca the heart you're in yeah. the anime section so let's go check it out now We got a lot to look at. We'll start from right and go all the way around. It's a big circle, basically. And they weren't kidding when they say Bubble Star is always chosen last. <laughs> yeah, I don't see Charizard or our or Squirtle, Squirtle here. anyway. Yeah. They have all the Pokemon pops here though as well. Oh, dude, I didn't even know Score Bunny got a Funko Pop yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, I just saw them at Target. That is super cute. Oh, and the Arcanine. I don't know, dude. I can't leave the Arcanine. That's a pretty sweet one. I think I'm gonna pick up Arcanine. What the heck is our Chandler? Dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I did. And then not just that, we've got the Minions. The they did that just anime. for Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. They did that just for you. So they're like, we know Mitchell's coming today we gotta give him the minion <laughs> section <laughs> randomly next to digimon and then we have the japanese minion the gudatama <laughs> <laughs> dude that red eyes is sick i know and even the oh man am i gonna leave with a digimon pop 2 a patamon like come on like how can i leave these ones we have patamon but say a graymon that'd be sick yeah you know graymon's probably what they're holding out for for a funko 
Shop, SDC exclusive. <laughs> As if we're not at the Funko Shop. Yeah, but they aren't gonna, yeah, it's true. Like, they, they, <laughs> they could drop it here any day, but we're usually not here. My brain's still thinking we're at Target. But the Arcanine, you know they're gonna do a flocked version of, which I'm okay with. I wanna get it in case though. We have the Yu Gi Oh ones. I think we have all of these ones right here, except for the Silent Swordsman, because I couldn't hear him coming. And then we got <laughs> the Wing Dragon of Brawl. We already have them too. We left this one, you know, poof, for... at the actual Hot Topic. But, oh, wait a minute, dude, there's a Funko Shop kite with the clown. What's the difference, this is the one with the number four. He has oh, his number four gun. weapon. Yeah, he's got the gun. That is sick. Because a scythe is what number? Two. Two. So this is number four right here. That is sweet. I thought we were. I thought we were just regular kite. Yeah, because he's. I, I was like, oh, is it not the same? And <laughs> then that is the so we have the scythe one over there, the common one, and then we have the number four right here, which is the Funko Shop exclusive for for Hunter Hunter. I'm definitely picking that up. I know it's super old, but I wish I would have got the diamond exclusive Hisoka as well. Yeah. But they don't have that one. <laughs> I was literally gonna say I'm gonna get poof and then put him down because I saw the kite. kite yeah. <laughs> oh man. What a guy. We're gonna spend so much money here. <laughs> we have four pops. Uh, I'm gonna leave the Kilo though because we saw that one at the box lunch too. So I don't feel like it's not something we can't get eventually. So we have the biggest anime section for Five Nights at Freddy. You know, that has to give one. Tracer from uh, Overwatch. Overwatch Tracer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird because the Overwatch section is definitely not over here. <laughs> she's more Five Nights. She's a new DLC character for Five Nights. Yeah, yeah. Because we have all the Five Nights at Freddy stuff. We have the Infinite Deku with Eerie, which we already have that one. But they also have a back for it too. Oh, Dude, she just slide. tucks out. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. In case you just want Deku, you can just gotta <laughs> put a Roki t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what happened? Like, didn't the t-shirts used to come with like a pop too? Like, I think this, <laughs> used to. Yeah, like less and less did they come with. Like now it's just a, a, a t-shirt with a, a very yeah, wasteful that's, box. That's how the black or red eyes was too. Yeah, it's just the shirt. Yeah, I mean if you're gonna put a shirt, you just put it on a, on a hanger. You know the waste packaging. But I would rather just get the shirt by itself. At least with the, with the pop, it made more sense. I freaking all my too. Oh, here we go. Now we're in the whole on my hero section here. The UA High School right here as well with Midoriya. Dude, I think this is from the newer season. Maybe oh no, that's like his full costume. That's like the first, just basic costume. Yeah, right? yeah the Bakugo as well too. This is the old school one. <laughs> I like how it was like before he was Bakugo. So he was like Katsuki. <laughs> you have the Todoroki, the Chalice Collectibles exclusive as well too. Where he's like Fifteen bucks. You can just remove that though and change it because <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely gonna work at checkout that way. <laughs> Do you think there's a chase for this one, or you think it's just this one? Because yeah. like I want to get this one, but I feel like there could be a chase out there. It's so hard to keep up with every pop that releases at this point. <sighs> I'm gonna leave it for right now, Ooh. dude. You have the oh, Bakugo that. plushie right here. That's why he tucked his hair in, making this weird hairdo. There we go. It's this little fringe. <laughs> we got the Bakugo. And then the Ochaka as well, too. So adorable. Like, this shirt would be sick if the pop was like that, too. Yeah, like, I don't know why they got rid of the pop in the box. Now it's just the, the shirt in the box. Oh, dang. Very, very, very sick. cool. I mean, Again, Target is like not as exclusive. We're kind of hunting for the most like exclusive. Most Funko yeah, we drove exclusive all the way over, over here. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna aim for the stuff that's the most oh, Funko shop this. related. Oh man, Front that is exclusive. really sick. 30 bucks though, 30 bucks. For Endeavor and Todoroki. And then half of that's an app. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I thought this was the Beast Titan for a second. <laughs> but it's actually Shishida, not the Beast Titan. <laughs> My Hero might be the only thing that maybe has more Funko Pops than Naruto, as far as anime goes and yeah. Dragon Ball. What is Glass 1 though? That's crazy sounding. Oh yeah, Class 1B exclusive. Oh, okay. Class 1A, Class 1B. Okay, those are like the the classes that they had in yeah, my but, hero. but why is it a 1B exclusive if he's just a part of that class? Because he's class 1B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, could it just be my hero hot topic exclusive still? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special time of exclusive. And then you have the giant. I mean, if any character had to get a 10 inch, then I mean, I think all a my- 10 inch, this is an 18. 18, yeah, they're 18 inch, 46 centimeters to be exact. Then you need a bigger cart for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they should do a Naruto one though. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. Like the Susano should have been 18 inches. <laughs> I wouldn't have anyone <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think a Naruto would get an 18 inch? I'm thinking... Oh, Naruto himself. Yeah, just a basic Naruto or Kuruma. We got the Shota. See, this is what I'm talking about. T-shirt and a pop. Dude, that makes, makes sense. a lot more sense. Dude, the adorable Deku right here is fixes. Why are all their hair? I had to fix Someone's all their Someone's like, like walking like, around. Like the Funko hairstylist in here. Most of this anime section is my hero. So far. Yeah. And for Sonic, you have like silver hair. I mean, not really anime, but I mean, kind of, in some ways. You know. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> He's got anime hair. He's from Japan. Okay, so now over here we have some full metal. We Ooh, also have Trigon. Trigon. Have you watched Trigon? I've never watched Trigon. I haven't seen it yet either, so I'm not 100 percent familiar. That but dude looks sick though. Yeah, his hair looks pretty dope as hell. The whole they have a lot of knives pops millions. <laughs> knives millions is probably like my favorite. That's me. Literally <laughs> knives out of millions. <laughs> and then we have Desecrates. Desecrates right here, super anime week. I mean the, the names of the characters definitely are sick. Oh, you got a little cat. 
<laughs> yeah, if you guys have watched Trigon, let us know. I have watched Haiku though. I don't necessarily know if I'd have a Haiku collection, you know, like I've yeah. watched it, but definitely not. I'm probably not gonna pick any up, but it is still sick to see Haiku get some representation here. Ooh, a little black clover. Yes, is there anything you're pick gonna pick up? up? Yeah. I what think are you gonna so. pick up for black clover? He likes black clover even more than Naruto. Well, I wouldn't say that, no, but they're pretty, they're, they're pretty close. You yeah. said that was your favorite. They're my favorite. <laughs> Didn't you say I asked you what would you like better, Naruto or what's your favorite anime of all time? You said Black Clover. I never said that. I literally, what'd you say then? Naruto Shippuden. I literally asked you your favorite. <laughs> you said Black Clover. No, Black Clover is really good though. <laughs> but I want to get Jack for sure because he's a very exclusive. And I want to get Nozo without this white mark. Oh, no, come on, that's part of the exclusive. Yeah. With the white mark. <laughs> Then over here we have the Dragon Ball section. Then he's little like really crazy exclusives though. Yeah, except for this guy. Yeah, still a cool one, but dude, like I gotta say, it's probably the sickest over here. Oh, the Jiu Jitsu. Jiu -Jitsu. You got the yeah. Sukuna right here. Swallowing a finger. And like turning. literally, like the start of him. That's so, dude, that's like such a maniacal look too. And then you're like, like oh. he's going insane, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then over here, he's got a lot of tongue game. And for Jiu Jitsu, you have two Ooh. pops in here. You got Kinto and you also have Nobara. Nanami and Kugasaki, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Nobara, I don't know. I think that one dropped in the Funko shop and it was there for a while and then for Kinto like Kinto I don't necessarily think it's like one I have to pick up because Jiu Jitsu can very easily turn to like Demon Slayer or Naruto where there's too much of it yeah. and don't have enough space for it so I'm gonna probably oh but dude if I have to get one I feel like Ooh, I gotta get Panda yeah <laughs> I can't leave Panda you got this BAM exclusive Oh, there's so many, dude. Mahito. They have Maki, oh, too. That one's sick, too. <laughs> you want this Master Roshi? <laughs> <laughs> he just comes with the top of his head. <laughs> the Gojo bag. Sometimes I feel like the anime lounge fly bags, they kind of like don't do as much detail as some of the other stuff. Yeah, because like look at this Gojo. It's just like a kind of an image. It's just a print of the show. They're like, you'll buy it. We know you're going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like his fingers right here twisting. <laughs> yeah, whereas like some of like, the Toy Story ones or stuff, they have like moving pieces. Very and a lot creative, of, yeah. They have a lot of stuff going on. Like this one just literally pops, kind of scattered through. It. Okay, Ooh. and then of course we have the best section of all. We have the Amazon exclusive Boruto here, which I think is actually cheaper to get on Amazon. <laughs> what is it, 15 bucks? I, mean, I think on the Amazon same. they have it for 12. Uh -huh. But I'm still gonna pick it up though, just because you know the experience of being here. But they also have Momoshiki, which we do already I have. have that, yeah. yeah, we already have that one in the collection. We have all these Boruto ones already too. What so is this Chochi? Chochi. It's the regular Chochi. Oh, they got a summer convention oh, Chocho. Oh, she's got her butterflies. Dude, I didn't even realize that was there. The summer convention exclusive Chocho right here with the butterfly. That is sick. Hell yeah, we're going to pick that up too. My cart is getting very full, very fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay on my <laughs> Dang, that is sick. I almost want the Chocho. I have seven pops and zero ideas of where to put them. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the Naruto ones. They actually Those did. Those pins are sick, yeah. Yeah, SDCC, they had some Funko pins that were Naruto as well too. But these ones right here are like way higher quality, but 25 bucks each. So I won't leave them, but they're really cool though, nonetheless. Dude, they have the Karama pop here, but what I'm waiting for them to release, they've already released Flocked, uh, the Glow in the Dark, they have the Susano one. They need to do like a Madara takeover one with a shotting gun. Ooh. That would be way too cool, have Madara riding on top of them. Okay, so we have the regular basic Naruto bombs, but of course we're still gonna show it off because this is the best section here. And then another one that I feel like on Amazon would probably be a better price, honestly. Dude, that, why is that so creepy? <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are always closed anyway. Final section guides right here, which- Oh, like, Kaneo! I did not get the Kaneo pop yet. And if we get Shinobu, we're gonna have to get the Kaneo. I mean, just to have like, you know, well, we need the whole trio of all the butterfly girls, but we got the Kaneo, and then we're also gonna look out for Shinobu. Then you have the One Piece pops right here. This is way further ahead than I am in One Piece. Like right now, I'm still in the one to 200, I think like 132 or something like that. So I've not even gotten to Snake Man Luffy or any of these characters yet, but I can still appreciate the designs and I already love them. Big Mom with the homies. I love that one. <laughs> Child big mom. <laughs> but with no homies. Yeah, with no no homies. No homies with that big <laughs> she mom. She get homies so she got older. <laughs> and she could force them to be homies. Okay, guys. So we got a bunch of stuff. Even Mitchell picked some stuff up. Yeah, so we're going to check all this stuff out when we get back to Anime Avenue. It was an awesome time here in the Funko shop. Had a lot of fun. Very, very crowded. But at least it's cool in here compared to outside. I'm dreading going out in that heat again. But let's head out. Head back onto the long drive through the streets of LA to get back home. All 
Alright, so we are back from the Funko shop and I am on a full blown Funko Pop anime roller coaster right now and it is all going uphill, baby. We are getting so many different types of anime Funko Pops. We just did a video going to the mall and only getting anime Funko Pops. And now today we got to add a bunch of exclusives. Let me count them. We got one, two, three, four. Four Funko Shop exclusive Funko Pops. But almost every pop we picked up today was an exclusive of some kind except for like two. So let's check it out. First here we have Kite with roll number four. You guys know Kite. How he ends up using his power is he pops the clown through and he rolls one through nine. And of course number two, the death side is the most powerful. I don't know, maybe not the most powerful, but the sickest one for sure. According to Kite, it's just they're all bad. So Yeah, they're all bad. But I love when he just takes down that whole horde of the Chimera ants. Oh, they're yeah. just all standing there and then just like... <laughs> But for the Funko Shop exclusive, you get the machine gun here, which is a more common roll, but still a sick one nonetheless. What is your favorite roll number? Mine uh, is definitely the scythe. Yeah, I love scythe. I think the scythe is the coolest that I've seen. I don't know what other ones he has, you know? Yeah, yeah, the scythe is incredible. But yeah, I love the scythe, so we gotta add this one to Pop Protector, and of course, it's gonna be going against our anime Funko Pop wall, which I, my goal is to, like, maybe not by the end of the year, but, like, as the before, like, early next year, fill that whole wall up with anime Funko Pop. And I mean like we're gonna try to get to where like majority of them are all have some kind of sticker That'd You know sick. some kind of exclusivity. So let's go ahead and add in kite But we're gonna go through all the Funko shop exclusives here first We have the next one It's a little surprise for you guys I can't wait to add it to the demon slayer section and it is a Funko shop exclusive And of course we'll get a shot of them out of the box too, but here it is. We wanted to save this one as a surprise. We have, drum roll Mitchell, the God of All Hashira. We have Shinobu. Yeah, so we have Shinobu right here and oh my goodness You're gonna get a shot on screen of it out of the box right now and man does she look fantastic I love the actual energy coming off of her is actually turning into the butterflies This is literally my favorite of all the Demon Slayer pops but It's hard to beat. I mean it could have been a Shinobu pocket pop and it would have been my favorite of all the pops so. <laughs> yeah. This one is incredible. You said this one was super limited too, right? I think this one was like 1300 pieces or something like that. Yeah, it wasn't like like super crazy. 1300 is like, it's like less than some Funko sodas. So yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty damn low and it's a Funko shop exclusive. It was sold out within moments. It was unbelievable that we were able, we were able to actually get this one. But like I said, I wanted to share it as a little surprise for you guys because it was in, we were in disbelief when we saw it. So here it is, the Shinobu Funko Pop. And now for the Funko shop exclusive. Shinobu. Blue. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gotta get it with the spice. All right, so we're gonna add Shinobu there. Beautiful pop. You guys are gonna see her out of the protector. Got it in the pop protector already because I wasn't risking on that one. Okay, next Funko Shop exclusive here. We got is Yelena right here. And this is actually from Attack on Titan, if you can tell by the title. But <laughs> <laughs> that spawn of the devil huh? deserved it. I apologize for his rudeness. So Yelena is actually a Marleyan, and I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen Attack on Titan already, but she is, she wasn't a part of the group at the start, and she becomes, you know, actually kind of an adversary later down the line, and is most iconically known, like I said, for the meme face. Even if you don't watch Attack on Titan, if you're just in the anime space, you've probably seen said face. I mean, I can only try to do my bit. <laughs> it's impossible to get that scrunch. It's because you gotta, they, you know, they have like that really good like shadowing and like lighting is just so perfect. <laughs> I think if she wasn't a Funko Shop exclusive and she was just part of like a general set, it probably wouldn't have been like one people picked up as much, you know? Yeah. But people just pick up anime pops in general. They like Attack on Titan just in general. But I think it was a good choice to make her a Funko Shop exclusive to give her a little bit more exclusivity. We got this one added into the collection. Of course, we're gonna put a pop protector on her. <laughs> Okay, now the last Funko Shop exclusive that is my second favorite today. It's the only time that my Ninja Way will come second is when it becomes to Shinobu. Shinobu Way? <laughs> the Shinobu Way. It's slightly greater in some ways than the Naruto Way. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Naruto with the Rasen Shuriken. Of course, we get to see him first pull this off against Kakazu. And I mean, he obliterates him. I mean, you start to realize how weak Kakazu was really compared to the rest of the Akatsuki. Naruto was able to take him down so simply.
simply. I mean, Kakashi, you know, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Kakashi's power is just so a hero there. Zabuza is his hardest enemy. Kakazu is his hardest enemy. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Itachi and doesn't die. He survives with Madara. He survives with Madara. He goes against Toby. Everybody he fights is his, is his hardest fight. He's <laughs> the hardest enemy he's ever went up against. So, Kakazu, I don't feel like he was one of the top tier of the Akatsuki, but that's when we first got to see Naruto do this Roshin Shuriken. So it is for the Shippuden line. And, I mean, I don't necessarily know. Is Boruto able to do the Roshin Shuriken? I don't think he can yet, no. Ooh, okay. I'm interested to see Boruto eventually get to learn it. I'm uh, just starting Boruto off here, so I don't know everything about it yet, but this is a Glow in the Dark exclusive. Did they even release a comment? That's a good question. Yeah, I don't, I, it, I don't think I've seen it. Presumably, maybe they will eventually, but either way, an awesome one here. And right now, we still have some room for some pops here, but you guys know this section over here is eventually going to be moved around a little bit, so we can take all those bottom pops down there, the bigger ones, and put those on the side there, so we can have more room for the Naruto pops themselves. But, gotta throw this one a pop protector, an amazing one, of course. <laughs> And in the last video, I mentioned that, like, we have Boruto doing the Rasengan, we got Minato doing the Rasengan, we got Naruto doing the Rasengan. I said, oh, Jiraiya, the only other Rasengan user, doesn't have a pop. Here we have it. We have it. Just releases it. <laughs> Jiraiya having a Rasengan. So now we have the full Rasengan users using the Rasengan. <laughs> okay, so next up here, we have Arcanine. And Arcanine is a really awesome Pokemon because he's just basically, like, a pseudo-legendary. I mean, let's be real. Like, you could either get, in one game, you can get both. Pex in one game you can get Growlithe. And I love Ninetales, especially Kuruma, but Arcanine beats Ninetales. The only thing a Ninetales has over is Will-O-Wisp. I mean, he does have like one psychic move, but yeah, I think Arcanine has just a little better everything else. He's just solid, and not just that, there's actually in the anime, they show like the tablet of the legendary Pokemon. You have the bird trio and also Arcanine there. Even his first ever Pokemon card, it actually labels him as a legendary Pokemon. He was almost like the original's in tape. I had to pick it up, and of course with the Glaceon, the Score Bunny that they released, he is definitely the best of the three in my opinion, but you guys let me know. Do you like Score Bunny, Glaceon, Arcanine? I would love, 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 love to see a Husui in Arcanine too. Ooh, yeah, those the are The protector sick. of the volcano. The Guardian Arcanine especially would be so sick to see, but awesome little stack here that we got a Pops, and Arcanine was one I had to pick up, and I'll probably regret it when Funko releases a flocked version and a glitter version, a glow in the dark version, and an invisible version. And a pearlescent version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, any version possible. <laughs> Card for, pocket for, whatever. <laughs> And our last, we got, I mean, literally we got almost all stickers, except for that Arcanine and one other one. Then we got Boruto, Amazon exclusive, and this is Boruto with Rasengan. Speaking of the Rasengans, we just added that one into the collection right up there, Boruto with Rasengan. But this one is the glow in the dark variant, so obviously a little sicker. Yeah. It, it does glow, you know, you can't let that go. So we have the glow in the dark one right there for you guys, and of course we're going to add that to the collection. And based off how it looks, it looks like maybe his hair even glows in this one. And then one character that I haven't got to see in this form yet, we have Chocho here. And of course we know her father, Choji, is known for his last resort, essentially Jutsu, where he ends up, you know, using all of his extra body weight to take like a full-blown chakra form where he's got butterfly wings made out of chakra. <laughs> She has a, presumably it's a, the jutsu works the same, right? Yeah, like she's the, she's the exact same. She eats a lot and then she like stores all that chakra up and then whenever she's like, oh, I gotta be desperate for this, she goes into that form. And I mean, I love Chocho though. She's really cool, but I mean. <laughs> better butterfly over here. <laughs> she you know, does the butterfly thing a little bit better. I mean, she does it better than butterflies do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Chocho right there though. Add this one to the collection. I was not gonna leave a convention exclusive behind. I mean, at the Funko Shop for retail. And dude, we gotta go there at least like once every, what do you think, like every two, three months? Yeah, it just seems like there's just so many good ones that are just lying around. But yeah, just literally lying around, you know? <laughs> so I mean, we have to go there every two or three months and just do an update and just see. I mean, obviously some they're just gonna sell out the day they go out and we're not gonna be able to get them immediately hmm. But like the fact that we live so close to it just going there in the location You're able to pick up so many Funko shop exclusives that are sold out online that go for like well over double Yeah, like just the kite right here is going for like 30 bucks online already You know we got it for 15 so I mean like yeah, it's only half or whatever But that's that's huge when you're terms of that's a whole nother pop you could pick up We go with Shinobu who's like 70 or almost like 80 bucks already exactly and it was in store so I mean an amazing Amazing pickup right there. 
And then lastly, but not leastly, we have Kaneo right here as well. I only really got her because I love this whole like butterfly trio that they've got going on. And of course, Kaneo is kind of the adopted one of the trio. And of course, no spoilers, but she does end up with one of our main characters. So I think as that develops more and more in the show, she's going to even be a more sought after pop if they don't release, you know, a flocked version of her. <laughs> <laughs> or a Funko Shop exclusive or flipping her coin or something. An awesome one, nonetheless, we got that one added to the collection. With the Demon Slayer line, I gotta be more exclusive because it's almost like Naruto where they make a million of them. So she was, you know, when I pick up a Demon Slayer one and know, you just know that it's like a character that I really considered one that I care about, one that I wanna see more of in the show. So that's why we picked this one up. And that actually empties out my bag right there. Now, Mitchell, you've got your characters right here. We're going to show these off as well. So you're going to have to explain these because I actually haven't watched Black Clover yet. So we have Jack right here. What's Jack got going on here? What is the... uh? So his name is Jack the Ripper. Ooh, okay. You can see he's pretty demented and stuff, but like he's his whole magic is uh, severing magic, and he can like cut through anything. Ooh. Severing magic! Shut tight! Okay, so is he a villain or like... No, a... he's like, he's a captain. So he's a magic knight captain. Same with Nozelle. Okay, sweet. And then what have we got going on here with the uh, the green shield that he's doing? Or it's a book, huh? That's his grimoire. Okay. And then the, the scythes come out of his arms. You know, like they're like attached to his arm oh. and then they come all the way out and that's just like how he severs. Mitchell's definitely making me want to watch uh, Black Clover. The movie was so good. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> and then now I gotta freaking get Netflix again, but we got <laughs> Nozelle right here. And Nozelle... I gotta give him points for awesome hair. We always, we love awesome hair here on this channel. This is, uh, yeah, Nozelle Silva. This is uh, another captain who uses mercury magic. Um, Ooh, You can okay. kind of see it coming out of his grimoire down here. What does mercury magic consist of? Mercury? What, what like, do you do with that? Oh, he just molds it to anything. Like, if he, he was, like, rides on a mercury, like, eagle when he wants to fly around. It's very sick. Instead of, okay, a, so like, a broom. Okay, so it's like a, a building substance. <laughs> yeah, but he can use it for, like, defense or attack. Okay, he's... that is sick. Mercury magic. Silver shining regal spear. Okay, so we have these two characters right here, and both of them are summer convention exclusive. Oh, no, one's a winter convention, and one's summer. You just need spring and fall, and you got all. <laughs> yeah, I missed that on Jack, and I was like, oh, dang, he's here? Yeah, that was an awesome pickup, and I think we both, like, just killed it as far as exclusives go. I mean, look at all the, like, that's all exclusives that we picked up today. Like, that's Eight freaking, exclusives, yeah. Like, that's insane, you know, and to be able to get them all in the same place. like <laughs> And for retail. <laughs> you know what I wonder is, like, you know when they have the convention day where all the shared exclusives? go places yeah do you think they have them all at the funko shop like maybe the timmy and cosmo and wanda was at the funko shop they were not they were not okay they, they made sure it was just myers and then the convention <laughs> yes i mean i don't know like maybe there's just like some because like these are convention exclusive and they ended up being there i don't think they were funko shop exclusive they probably yeah. were shared somewhere else but nonetheless an awesome pickup here and if you guys want to see us go to the funko shop more often and pick up some anime funko pops we're definitely going to be doing it so if you want us to film it along the way let us know now, without any further ado, I had an amazing time with you guys at the Funko shop. And also, those street tacos were really good. <laughs> we got some street tacos and they were fantastic. <laughs> Besides that, stick around. We're going to add these guys to the wall here. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it. Elena, we have right here with the uh, Krista, actually. We have all the different Attack on Titan pops together here. And we have Kaneo and also Shinobu down here with all the other Demon Slayers. And we have Kite, well, next to Kite, because that just seemed like it made sense. Okay, and then we have all the Boruto pops kind of mixed in with the Naruto ones, but we have Chocho and also Boruto over there. And for the Naruto or Sroshin Sitkin, we're going to add him right here next to Momoshiki. So guys, that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome Funko Shop tour. If you guys did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget we are on Patreon, so if you want to see an extended version of this video and every other video, get behind the scenes clips, early releases, a bunch of other perks as well, go check that out down below. And it's the number one way to make sure to keep the lights on on Anime Avenue, so go check it out. I would really appreciate it. And also don't forget we're on Whatnot every Wednesday and Friday. And you get 50 
$15 off your first purchase. So pops like, for example, the new Amazon exclusive glow in the dark Boruto, you could probably get for free or for a deep discount using that $15. So go take advantage of the free collector's cash to get something in your collection today for dirt cheap. They won't be doing that offer forever. So make sure you guys go use it. Link will be down below. And I'll see you guys in this video that I know you're going to love. And as always, Rat Pack, I will see you, beautiful Shinobi, in the next video. Adios. Bloop.